what's going on guys? Today we have an on-camera casting interview thingy. Unfortunately, it's one of those things that we're not allowed to give uh, details about, but it's exciting and it sounds like a pretty cool opportunity. I have to admit that I was a bit nervous about the pregnancy at first. I, When I was talking to them, I was like, um, you guys know that I'm pregnant, right? And they said, yeah, they think it's great that I'm pregnant, and if everything goes through, they'll work around the pregnancy. So that is just awesome. But it should be an exciting day, a fun day. So I'm trying to find something to wear, and it's kind of difficult right now. I don't have a lot of stuff that fits me, and I haven't had a chance to go shopping for maternity clothes. Like, I keep pulling stuff out, and I try them on, and I'm like, okay, this this doesn't fit anymore, but it's kind of the same rules, bright colors, no logos, uh, that's what I need to find, and we're not allowed to wear green because there's going to be a green screen. I should just wear green to be funny and then be sitting in front of the green screen and just have nothing, like a big blank spot. I don't exist in the middle. Here's some stuff I'm pulling that still fits. Well, not really this one. This one's real tight on the boobies now. How about this shirt? Does this shirt still look good with my new hair color? I don't have to do my hair and makeup before we go though because they're gonna have a hair and makeup artist there to do everything for me. And I love having a hair and makeup artist. So either way, this day is a win because I get to get done up all party and I love getting done up all party. This is how John is preparing for today, watching Trailer Park Boys and rendering game videos. I'm watching videos to get free coins for my game. <laughs> okay. Did you ever have to do that? No. No? Oh, I've had to like sign up for websites though. Yeah. For like my iPad apps. Yeah, I got this little hill climbing game. And it's pretty fun, but you can watch like 30 second ads get 15,000 coins, so I've racked up like 300,000 coins. Wow. Are you excited for today? Yep. Yeah? Just Gizmo's excited. preparing myself. Gizmo's about ready to give you a back rub. Well, now she's licking her foot. Doodly bear, doodly bear. Ugh. Pew. The reptile cages smell really bad. They need to get cleaned. Need to take the little sand scooper and get all the poo poo out of there. Actually, our neighbors are going to be watching our reptiles for us when we go back to Minnesota. So one day this week, we have to transport all the reptiles to Corona. So that's going to be a bit of a hassle. And then we're leaving the cats in, our, in the house. Our friend Eros is going to come and live in our house for a month. And he's going to bring his dog here. And I just figured cats are really easy. You just got to make sure they have food and water. And I didn't really trust Eros remembering to turn the lights on and off of the reptile cages. So I'm going to send those to Val, Kevin, and Megan. Or how about something blue? Or is this too close to green? Kenobi. <laughs> that was such a big, cute stretch. Kenobi, I think you should get cast as something. So now, John is trying to get his wardrobe together. I don't yes. need very much time to get my wardrobe together, Nikki. I know, I need more time than Where's you. Where's my white shirt? I don't know. How am I supposed to keep track of my clothes? I have to do everything for you? Yeah. You butthead? You don't have a baby yet. Oh. <laughs> People always think you're serious, too, when you say these things to me. Oh, well, that's because I have a very dry sense of humor, and people just don't understand that. Like, my favorite joke in a movie is, uh, gone to prison, or going to prison, let's go to jail, or let's go let's to Let's go prison. to prison, yeah, Jack yeah. Shepard. And in the beginning, the guy's like, the prison warden's like, is anybody innocent? And some guy's like, me. And he, like, points to the guard, and the guard goes and hits him with his shotgun in the stomach. And he's like, I'm sorry, that's my idea of a joke. I have a very dry sense of humor, and I thought that was, like, the funniest line ever in a movie. Is this a good... Selection, yeah, just bring a few options. I'm bringing a bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. I just in case. I wanted to find white shirt, but I can't find it. Simon! What do you think we should wear? I ended up throwing like five shirts in a bag just in case, and then we can have the producers look at them and decide what's best. John, I actually don't like this tan shirt you have at all. The tan one, the tan polo. It's an expensive shirt, he says. Well, I think it's an ugly color. Meow, meow, meow. 
This one's nice, though. I think I bought it for him, actually. I think I just need to go through John's closet and pick some stuff out for him. All right, we're on our way. These people rented out like a studio and it's not too far from us, so we should get there pretty quickly. And yeah, exciting stuff. How's my hair? It looks fabulous. Stop fabulous, getting fabulous. A perm, but. A perm? Oh my god. John with the perm. Well, they have a hair and makeup artist if uh, you need anything done. Maybe they'll curl your hair like they usually curl my hair. I love makeup artists. I know. You get all makeup up. I'm gonna ask them to put some hooker eyeshadow on you. <laughs> my makeup gun is set to clown. And bright red lipstick. And you'd look gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. I had a chapped lips once in high school and someone's like, oh, you said to wear lipstick today, huh? And it made me feel so bad. People think that you wear lipstick in our vlogs sometimes, too. <laughs> They're like, they comment, is John wearing lipstick? Yeah, you know me. Just can't help it. <laughs> my lipstick. I was putting it on. Maybe John just naturally has Maybe a I kiss beautiful you when lip you have tint. Lipstick. But I don't wear lipstick, really. No, but when you do, you kiss me. Okay. Ooh, and I had a little bit of time before we left, so I sent over baby shower stuff to my friend Emma. So we're getting it done. I sent her most of the addresses for the people to invite. Um, some people haven't gotten back to us yet, so we're like, uh, if we get them tonight, I'll send it over to Emma. If not, if they didn't answer, these people aren't going to get formal invites. We'll just tell them where when it is and what time they should be there and where I registered. But that's really all I can do. It's, it's got to be done now. There's a, a time crunch. Not my fault. So we just finished up our interview and it went really well. We weren't there very long because everything was just flowing and I think John and I did a good job on camera today. So pat on the back for us. I really like my makeup. I'll show it to you guys later. I thought I was going to get my hair done there too but um, the lady was a makeup artist and she wasn't doing hair as well. She didn't bring any of her tools. So that was a bit of a misunderstanding. But everyone thought my, my hair looked fine and I, I just looked cute and natural. Well, we came downtown because we still have our gift certificate to eat at Kohl's. So we're gonna go get a French dip. Yay. John's Wasted been this French forward. dip for months. John's been looking forward to Almost this. Almost a year. Downtown is so loud. There's all this hustle and bustle of this city life. When you pour my water, it kind of looks like I'm getting a glass of vodka. All right. In 1908, Coles actually invented the French dip sandwich. So if you ever have a French dip sandwich, it's roast beef on bread, and you dip it on au jus. This is where it came from. How cool is that? Yeah. And in 1933, they sold 58 32-gallon kegs on the first day California lifted the uh, prohibition ban on beer. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. Yeah, so this place has got a lot of pretty history. Pretty historic, yeah. yeah. Do I look pretty? You look really sexy. I don't know if this is the best light to show off my makeup, but it's I like, like how she did it. Rock. Well, they always, every time I have a makeup artist do my makeup, they always do like a really, really natural look. Because they say so I sexy. have... <laughs> Why are you being so sweet to me today? You're saying these nice things That's all the time. Got a baby. Yeah, but John's been very flattering all day today. When we had our interview, he said that um, I'm the reason our YouTube is success successful because I'm so cute. Yep. I was like, oh my gosh. I'm simply, I'm simply an administrator. Look at this little sweetheart here. So here are the original French dip sandwiches. They have pork pastrami, prime beef, turkey, and lamb. Is beef usually what you're supposed to get for a French dip? I think it's kind of traditional, but you know, they have a lot of different variation and spins on it here. Because I usually get turkey sandwiches when I'm getting a sandwich, and turkey's on here, but I don't know if that's the best choice for a French dip. Mm. My voice really carries in this restaurant. And one really cool thing about old-time restaurants like this is they do a really, really good job of kind of preserving the history and posting old pictures of all the celebrities and people that have eaten here and just all the good times and all the stuff that's kind of happened here throughout history. And that's really, really cool. The food here looks really good. They make their homemade spicy pickles. They're very like jalapeno, like, woo! Really? I've never been a pickle person. 
You probably like this one. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not a fan of pickles. We got some sides to share too. Looks mac and, good. Mac and cheese action. That looks like really yummy mac and cheese. It is. Let's capture this moment where John takes the first bite bum, 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 of this French dip bum. he's wanted for Two so dips. long. Very important. That's a good one. Was it worth the wait? That's a good French dip. <laughs> mm. I'm glad you're satisfied finally. We do. Oh. We definitely just wrecked that food. Is it good? Wrecked it. Mm -hmm. Very good. That was like, oh man, I needed that French dip. It hit the spot. And not only that, but the sides were delicious. The fries were good. The beer that our server, John, recommended. That's right, my name's John, too. Two Johns don't make a right for all the other Johns out there. But very good beer. Just a good ending meal to a great day. True story. What are you looking at there? Hi! <laughs> the number? Now I have some good light where I can show off my makeup. I just really love when a makeup artist does my makeup because you can kind of watch them and since they do it professionally you can see all the little tricks that they do and the color schemes and just what looks good and how they make people look so so fabulous and and star like you know what I'm saying um, she actually she used some brown eyeliner on me I usually use black but I think I might go buy brown eyeliner I think it might look better now that my hair is brown too she just put a little bit underneath and I think that makes my eyes really pop Thor, you want to be on camera that bad? You two are loco. Thor, how bad do you want to be on camera? Oh, that bad. Or do I have your... Hey, give me that ball back. Give me that ball back. I had his ball, but he got it. Hey. <laughs> Nikki's over there getting more addresses for the baby shower. Hey, Ruth, oh, man. Mr. What a good day. Bad, um, good Thor. Today. Couldn't so see that because of your big-ass right head, now. Kenobi. Couldn't see that because you're your giant head. Oh man, what a good day. I'm so full. It was really cool just kind of hanging out all day. We had a great meeting. We had a great dinner. Going to Kohl's was absolutely excellent. Um, we're gonna, things are winding down. We're kind of gonna hop in bed and watch a movie and fall asleep. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching, guys. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Favorite this video. And we'll see you next time. Hey, quit messing with Aphrodite. Aphrodite, you don't even know guess what's messing with you down there.